you have become like become so prolific and like 1.3 million Twitter followers. That's what I'm talking That's about. That's huge. You know I mean? yeah. That's huge. Uh, when did you realize you're ready to like? You're doing meet and greets all the time. You're like constantly. At, there, like, there are a few people that I look up to, and I look at them and say, I couldn't do this. I, I wouldn't want this. Like, I don't think I can handle like that many like people. Like, mm. like mm. at first you're probably just like seeing people on the street, and like, when did it become a point where you're like, oh, we're doing meetups wherever I go? Sure. Like, and how do you handle it? The thing about it is, I think you're talking about going from zero to 100 miles an hour. Yeah. You have to understand that my entire career and that aspect of it, of the fame, in quotes, yeah. uh, all happens so gradually that by the time, like tonight we're doing CJ's meet and greet, right? Yeah. I have a feeling it's going to be very big. Wednesday, this is going live Thursday. Well, wait, uh, you don't missed get confused. It. You should have been following me on Twitter. <laughs> you should have been following me on Twitter. Everybody. But if I'm predicting, I'm going to say it's going to be pretty huge because it's yeah. been, I'm driving in from Arkansas. I'm driving in from here. I, we went to Shakespeare's and we were shooting there and there, this guy walked by and he was in an old school NES shirt, a PlayStation shirt, and then a PlayStation hat. And I turned it to him like, that's gotta be one of our kids, right? And sure enough, like he looked back over and he's like, hey, I don't wanna interrupt. I'm like, what's going on? He, you know, he took the day off work and drove in and now he's just bumming around Columbia until it's time for this with his friend. Man. And like, that is now the norm. Whereas like what you're talking about, when I first started doing meet and greets and it would be me and Damon and seven IGN fans, that was the norm. And you understood how it worked and that that's what it's about. And you know, I'm lucky enough that my career is built on best friends. It's, be, you know, it's, it's walking yeah. to this room, you know, only you're on camera, of course, because you're the prettiest one. But everyone around here is a fan, right? And like, even though I don't know you and we've only had this one interaction through Twitter, right? Or I've met, met you before and all this stuff. It is, I know you, you know me for sure. And I know you because I know who listens to our stuff. And yeah, sure, I don't know your mom's maiden name or your social security number, yeah. but I'd love to hear them later. Um, I do know who you are and I know what you're going through, and especially you guys at Mizzou, right? Like that's so much even easier to do it. And so the way it's all grown organically, I don't sit there and think like, man, I command such a large audience and I have such an impassioned fan base and da 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 and like this, that, and the other. And you know, nobody's a line, line, on, a line item on a spreadsheet. Everyone is a best friend because that's how it is. And when, you know, you're going through a rough time and you reach out, I want to talk to you about it. When, you're, when you have something to celebrate, I want to celebrate it with you. And, it's how it works because being an internet celebrity and having two dollars gets you a cup of coffee. You know what I mean? Like yeah. is, this is something that could be gone tomorrow. I'm lucky enough that for 12 years people have entrusted me to be part of their daily lives.